Hello Blue Coat, it's Mr Harris here and I'm bringing you the final instalment of the Great Blue Coat Summer Write-Off with our story title, The Strange Event. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Isa, Harley, Machida, who have all put entries in this week um, and you can also find those entries on Twitter. Just follow at Blue Coat Fed. There's other photos of teachers and children reading, which has been fantastic to see. Um, I'm going to share my ending now. It's quite long because I had a lot of things to wrap up. Um, so just sit back and enjoy it. Um, remember what you think about the ending. Do you want it to end happily? Do you leave it as a cliffhanger as if there's going to be a next installment to your book? Do people learn anything and there are any morals? That's often one of the reasons to write a story. It gives the themes and the beliefs of the author how life should be lived. Um, so if you want to read what's already been done on mine, I'm going to flick through the screen now. All you need to do is just pause on those um, slides and you can catch up with what I have been saying. Or alternatively, you can look at the previous videos that are in this thread. But without further ado, I will start the final ending. A few days passed and I was back to the monotonous routine of painting in Victoria Wicked's factory. What if it was all a trick and there was no evening with Mayor's heartfelt? Hope was slipping in away and it felt like I would never leave this loveless place. But then, one evening as I was finishing my final painting of the day, the door of the factory creaked open and I was beckoned to come with the henchmen. Maybe this was it. Disconcertingly, one of the henchmen placed a bandage around my eyes so I had no clue where I was going. After what felt like hours but was only minutes, the bandage was removed and there stood Victoria Wicked with her white fur coat and bright pink lipstick. The smell of cheap perfume invaded my nostrils. She snarled at me and I could see anger in her eyes. Listen, girl, I never expected any of you lot to win the competition and just wanted to sell more of your paintings. Whilst you're with Mary's hearty pants, I will be right there with you. So not a word about our little arrangement. Do you understand? My heart sunk and I nodded in agreement. This was our only chance. I didn't want to let Kamal down or any of the other children. But what could I do with this ghastly woman there all the time? I followed behind Victoria Wicked and we entered through an enormous oak door gilded gold with stunning patterns. It was a luxurious place. Mary's heartfelt was even more beautiful close up than when I had seen her before. She had a deep brown complexion, stood only a few inches taller than me and moved with grace. Zainab, it's wonderful to meet you properly. I was mesmerised by your painting and couldn't wait for you to come and see me, she said melodically. The evening continued and we were brought platefuls of food, the like of which I had never seen, and I had certainly not had anything like this whilst being captive. There were peppers stuffed with cheese, miracle berries, pomegranates, and the sweetest desserts I had ever tasted. Victoria wouldn't take her eyes off me and answered all the questions Mary's heartfelt was posing to me. You could tell she was getting frustrated as much as I was. Then things took a turn. Zainab, the mayoress uttered. So I was wondering whether you might want to have a look at my paintings. I'm not very good, but I've been practicing. I'd love to see what you think. Victoria cast me a stare that could cut through ice. I don't think there's time for that, she stuttered. Oh, I think there is. And besides, I didn't ask you to come. You can stay right here. The mayoress took me to a parlour littered with countless paintings, most of which were of Glitterton and its inhabitants. Some were from long ago and some more recent, but they were all jaw-droppingly good. Mayoress, these are incredible. How could you say you are not very good? I guess I've never been that confident. Seeing your painting made me want to share these. I love Glitterton and these paintings help me to remember how it was and how it's changed. I'd loved seeing the paintings, but I had forgotten the most important thing of all. I had to get home and free the other children too. I shook my head and patted my cheeks to compose myself and told Mayor's heartfelt everything. She was stunned. 
She knew there was something malevolent about Victoria Wicked, but never thought she would be capable of this. Without a second thought, she stormed into the main room and ordered her security to apprehend Victoria Wicked. Running as fast as we could, I found my way back to the drain, slid it open, rushed down the spiral stairs and entered the painting factory. Hundreds of eyes peered at us, at first confused, but then the realisation hit them. They were going to be freed. Kamal smiled at me and we hugged. Zainab, you have to go back to your mother. There isn't a moment to lose, he said. And so that was the last I saw of the children I worked with and the magical Glitterton. Before I left, I managed to bring the painting of my mother that won the competition, as well as the painting of my father. These items had provided me some peace during this dreadful time. I found my way home to be greeted by my mama. Zainab, where have you been, my darling? We've had the whole of Grimton searching for you. I've been worried sick. I know, mama, and it's a long story which I can explain later. But first, I want to show you something. I removed both paintings from my satchel and presented them to my mama. Confusion turned to joy as tears began to fall down her face and she took in the images of herself and my father. She gave me the warmest hug as we wept together. As we parted, she looked at me and I said, maybe we could do some painting together now, mummy. And uh, that is the end. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I've certainly enjoyed writing it. In fact, I could have made it much, much longer, but I think that's long enough. Um, if you haven't um, written anything yet, it's not too late. You've actually still got uh, a week left and you can send entries to lbarry at bluecoatfederation.co.uk or to postbox at bluecoatfederation.co.uk or of course you can bring them into uh, school on your first day back and give them to your teacher because we'll be celebrating uh, the entries that we've had. Okay, enjoy the rest of your holiday and I'll see you all soon. Bye.